took this in episode 4 where John decided to make his own IOC container. Got us a little bit off track, but it was such good stuff. Wanted to show it to you live. And I should say, this isn't going to be a full dependency injection framework by any means. I'm going to be able to bind by instance and by type um, and in fact I'm going to make this generic uh, t concrete um, because wherever you can make things generic it's handy uh, where the concrete class has to be has to derive from the key class. So the key is going to be sort of what we're going to provide. And in this case, we're saying, I want to bind by type. So you know, whenever you want, um, in this case, system clock, sorry, whenever you want an I clock, use the system clock type. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll have, I'm trying to think of a good example, sometimes you might want it to create a new instance of some particular uh, type every time you ask for it. Sometimes it can use instance, whereas sometimes we want to use a specific instance all the way through, like um, date time zone dot get system default. So I'm going to change my program to start with before I start doing any implementation. Say injector dot bind um, I clock to system clock. Injector dot bind Oopsie, I can't type at all. Uh, date time zone to date time zone dot uh, get system default. Injector dot bind uh, instant will actually give it a particular instant. Um, Okay, what else did we need? Well, we needed um, calendar, calendar oh, system. the calendar system, yep. And I think that will probably be enough. And then we need some way of getting something. So we're going to um, have a resolve method, which I'm going to create in just a sec, to say, okay, you've got all these things. I need you to do stuff now, please. Um, and we can still do presenter.start. So if we go into resolve, um, we're going to make it return the right thing. And let's get rid of everything else. So I wish to have some sort of dictionary um, from type to a way of getting to an instance of that type. So it's actually just going to be func object uh, providers. You know, I just have to say, watching you recreate Massive when we were doing the C-sharp thing, right before my eyes, and now you're writing your own IOC container. Oh, I'm not going to go You're freaking me out, Skeet. Here. I you're really won't. You're freaking me out again. <laughs> Um, so, if we are given an instance, this is going to be really easy. So we're going to do uh, providers um, type of t equals a lambda expression, which just always returns the instance. Let's see if we can actually get as far as this working, because it'll be fun. <laughs> um, here, providers type of t key. When we, sorry, equals, um, when we're asked to resolve something, um, resolve by type t concrete. 
Okay, so this just sort of punts things. And in this, we're going to... Let's assume that we have a single constructor in the type that we're interested in, um, just because it makes life easier. Single. So we'll we'll kind of get link to assert that for us, um, and then we we've got a constructor that we want to invoke, but we've got to get the dependency injection to resolve all of its dependencies. So. Um, we're going to try to get diary. When we ask for a diary, we want, it, we want to say, get me a clock, get me a calendar system, get me a time zone. So we're going to have um, arguments, new object, um, constructor dot, get constructor parameters, get parameters, dot length. In fact, oh, we can do this sweet, more sweetly. So for each parameter, let's just say um, oh, I can do dynamic typing in it, probably. Oh, now you oh, got you, me you interested. you'd like that. <laughs> okay, so um, from get parameters, uh, we're going to get a parameter info because you know I was waiting to say that. Just use dynamics, man. <laughs> uh, resolve parameter, parameter info. So we need to have some way of getting from resolve uh, parameter type. Let's just make this P, just because we've got a small, um, small window here. Um, dot to array. So we need this method. So instead of just having a generic method, we're also going to have internal object resolve type type. Um, and actually, I'm not going to use dynamic typing because it <sighs> ends up being a bit of a pain. But what I will do is make this return resolve uh, type of key. Okay, so we've only got one uh, one thing now, and we'll assume that it is going to return the right kind of thing. So we, we're okay to have a cast there. So we've now got our constructor arguments, and we can now return uh, constructor.invoke um, arguments. So we're getting quite close here. So all we're left with ha, all we're left with is how do we resolve, we resolve something? So let's see if we've got a provider. We'll use that. So if providers dot try get value type out provider return provider. We're just going to call the lambda uh, call the function whatever it's going to do. So this could end up recursing into resolve by type. And obviously, you want things that detect cycles and all kinds of stuff. But hey, we're just writing it very, very quickly. Um, otherwise, OK, we, we haven't got a specific provider. So um, if we've got uh, resolve by type, let's make this less strongly typed as well, because it's going to be useful. We'll assume that if we haven't been given um, anything else, that it's a concrete class with a single constructor. So sometimes resolve is going to be given an interface like iClock, in which case we, we would hope that we've got a provider. Otherwise, we're going to assume that it can be done by resolve by type. Um, and I did also have uh, this crazy idea of uh, binding iClock to system clock. So saying, well, if we haven't got a constructor, um, maybe we've got a static method. So if constructor not equal to null, 
fine. Um, wow, well, that's ugly. Sorry, I like lining things up just for Link. Um, otherwise, let's um, instance property type top. Get properties, uh, get property instance. So let's assume that it's got one that does the right thing. Um, I don't know offhand. It searches for the public property. I'll assume it's a static property. Return instance property dot get uh, value with null because we're assuming it's um, a static property. And you know, we would have so much more error checking and all kinds of things here. However, this is where it all goes horribly, horribly wrong. Um, I think there's just a chance that this will now actually do the right thing. So we've said that we want to use the system clock. We've said we want to use the system default. Uh, we've got instant. We haven't talked about diary presenter or license or diary. Um, let's make diary presenter dot start just right out to the console. Um, diary dot format today. Today is and let's also write out license valid um, uh, license dot has expired. So expired. Okay, so now if I change program into this is ugly as anything, test fixture. We'll change it into a unit test because it's the easiest way of running code within a class library. Um, okay, the chances of this working immediately <laughs> are very, very, very slim. I just want to make this absolutely clear. Yeah. Um, in fact, ncrunch says it's, it's failed already. Um, oh, because something has multiple constructors. That's interesting. I don't know what offhand. So it's trying to do resolve by type. Uh, resolve. OK, so we're trying to resolve diary presenter. We know that much. Um, let's just make this bit just right to the console. So obviously, there are multiple ways of debugging. Um, we're now kind of away from a lot of what we'd normally do, because uh, normally you don't generally um, write your own dependency injection framework. So you wouldn't have to be debugging down here. Uh, but it's resolving diary presenter, and supposedly we've got more than one constructor. Uh, this is true. We do. Oopsie. Admittedly, I'd expected to see one rather than, uh, sorry, uh, two rather than three on the result there, but uh, so we now do only have one here. Let's run that again. Okay, we've now got a failure. Oh, so we've resolved, tried to resolve system clock and that's failing. I'm pretty sure at the um, getting uh, property. Uh, is it a I guess instance is a property, right? Uh, instance is a property on system clock. Do you have to so, say something yeah. special for static? Well, that's what I was wondering. Binding flags dot public or binding flags. Static. I had to do this. Once. I doubt that this will work. Mm. It feels unlikely. Um, so all kinds of stuff. Claims it's failing here. Still well, that's failing. A, that's okay. I mean, unless you want to get this to oh, work I, as a I part now of mental. I just want to. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure so, people enjoy watching uh, right. do this. Type. So we're trying to find something on system clock. And in fact, it may be as simple as um, sticking in. Uh, new object. But wait, isn't... Yeah, I was going to say... 
If you say get value, you have to pass the, the instance in that you're trying to get the value of, right? Yeah, but this is a null property. Right. Um, sorry, a static property. So we kind of shouldn't. Um, yeah. So Rob can edit all of this stuff out if we don't want to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you wish. Um, hmm. Just kidding. Uh, let's see. So yeah. by, by now we should have... Let's see whether we get as far as... If this doesn't work within a couple of minutes, we will call it a day. That's all um, right. But, so we've got... Oh, no, we haven't managed to find the instance property. Um, on uh, So type is definitely system clock. Uh, and it's definitely node of time dot system clock. Let's see, sharp uh, reflection, get static. So, property. oh, it's because it's a field. There ah. we go. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Right, okay, so we would want um, get field. Oh. Right. Okay. So I'm just, let's, we would normally want to make it um, cope with both, um, but that's fine. We should now, that should now um, pass that bit. Wow, it's um, it looks like Encrunch is saying it's okay. Did you Look, just today is April Fool. License expired. Is true. You so, just wrote um, your own IOC container skeet. Um, a very very poor in, version of one. I just want to say this in the span of fourteen and a half minutes. You just you sir are <laughs> a freak of nature. 